This is an atom. And it's what we're all made of, so we must bow down and worship. <clears throat> Just kidding. Well, sort of. No matter how big or small, everything we know is made of atoms. So this got me thinking, what if I shrunk the scale down massively and created a tiny ecosystem that's self-sufficient and home to all kinds of different organisms? However, not everything went to plan. Oh my god, he's escaped. He climbs up and then he's gone. Throughout this video, I'm going to be upgrading the ecosystem in six different stages. So let's get to work on stage one. So on day one, I started to mix together the substrate. This will act as the base layer for my ecosystem. So now I had the base for my ecosystem, I could leave it to set for a few days while I get into step two. Okay, it is day three. We've left all the substrate to chill for a few days. I've just been working on getting all the base elements for the ecosystem in really, all like the structure and stuff like that. And this is how it's all gone. Now, after careful consideration on what design I wanted for my ecosystem, I had a brief idea of the sort of look I wanted to go for. So I got right ahead and started the build. So this is what we're looking at. I've gone for quite like a barren desert kind of look considering we're in a desert ecosystem. Hello again, you join me in day four. Now, today is the day that we're gonna add in some greenery. Even deserts have plants, cacti. So, uh, we picked up these three little numbers. We're gonna get them in. This one fell on my hand coming out of the shop and I was covered in spikes for the next day. So I'm gonna be careful with that one. However, these two aren't so aggressive. So, yeah. We'll get these in the ecosystem. Okay then, now with my hand absolutely full to the brim with cactus spikes, we are done with day four putting all the plants in. And yeah, let me show you how it went. Not only do these plants look nice within the ecosystem, but they'll also work towards improving the overall oxygen quality in there. So, this is the end of day four. We've got the plants in, we've got the substrate in, and we've got the bear structure in as well. Everything in here is gonna make our ecosystem members very, very happy, I hope. So we'll leave it now for the next few days and wait to start the next step. Just remember, guys, in a few days, this is gonna be a fully functioning ecosystem, completely running itself. It is now day five in the ecosystem. So, today is where we add in the cleanup crew. So we've got some isopods today. We've got two different kinds we're gonna add in, and hopefully they'll go in. Keep it all nice. Just a quick reminder guys, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe so I can bring you plenty more videos like this. What I have in my hand here are the Presilio Scarver. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure if I actually say it right. Yeah, so these are gonna be part of the cleanup crew in my little ecosystem. Yeah, we'll get them released in now. Here they are in all their glory. So yeah, these will just go through, eat all of the dead bark and stuff like that. And yeah, just keep the whole place clean. Yeah, we'll get these guys in their new home now. Guys, look how happy they are, running about everywhere. They're all making for that bit of bark over there, look. So yeah, they're already getting to work. It's all good, it's what I bought you for. I think this one's my favourite. I don't know, he just seems a bit out there. I'm going to call him John. Right, so we're not stopping there on the cleanup crew today. We've got some more in here. Uh, these are slightly different, they're from the same family, they're Presilios again. So I don't know if I'm saying that right. But um, these are called dairy cows. They're the same sort of thing, just like a lot bigger. I'm not sure if you can really even... Yeah, I don't think you can see them in there. They're kind of burrowed down already. Uh, but I think they've had babies in there as well already, which is, you know, uh, securing the future generation of workers, I guess. So we've got quite a few in there, but yeah, these are the only two that are kind of on the surface. Yeah, these are called the dairy cows. And yeah, they'll make a nice addition to our little ecosystem. Adding the dairy cows made me realise that they're definitely the more lively of the two species, and I think they're my favourite. Like, look at that one, he's going on a mad one. It's sliding down already. But yeah, I think these will be a really good addition to the ecosystem. Now they will keep my ecosystem all nice and clean, and one day they'll be food for a future predator. So, stay tuned to the end of the video for that. You know, even just sitting and looking into the ecosystem really makes you realise how much can be going on in such a little space. Like, you just see stuff popping up everywhere. It's actually really cool to watch. Okay, so you join me on day six in the ecosystem journey. Now, 
there hasn't been a whole lot going on. I've been watching it every so often, but yeah, there's not much going on. So, the cleanup crew are kind of lazy. They've literally all just buried themselves. I can't see a single one. I'll show you in the top. I, I can't see a single one. They're all fucked off. Today, we're going to be adding some more residents in. These are going to be just, you know, you like this, civilians. They'll just roam around the place, vibing, and they'll do a bit of cleaning up as well. So, I guess you could call it cleanup part two. So, in this box, I have brown crickets. Right, lads, welcome to your new home. Jeez, happy crickets. Yes, yeah, so these guys are just going to roam around, vibing about. Uh, fuck, look at this one. He's an adventurer. I'm going to call you Chris. Now, so, oh, your one's already gone on the uh, carrot already, so that's good. Now, while these crickets are going to be really good for the ecosystem, they're going to add something to it aesthetically, and they'll help with the cleanup, everything like that. They are still going to have to be food for a future predator, so stay tuned for the end. Oh look, one of the cleanup crews finally come out. You late to work, mate? Just by looking at the difference between time lapses I recorded on my GoPro from when it was just the isopods in the ecosystem compared to when I added the crickets in there, it's crazy the difference in the activity you can see. It's like comparing my hometown to London. So you join me on day eight of the ecosystem. I've left it a day just to let the ecosystem just, you know, form into what it will form into. We do need some population control. So, now for the time everyone's been waiting for, including me, it's time to introduce the predator. And I've got a good one. Time to introduce a predator. He is in this box, which I've, I don't want him escaping, so I put all this on top of it. We have a very feisty scorpion. So yeah, this scorpion is gonna be the predator for the ecosystem. Gonna help keep populations down and just make it self-sufficient so nothing gets uh, sort of overwhelmed. We'll get him in the enclosure now. Uh, I've decided to use a ski glove for protection. <laughs> it's the best I've got. I don't really want to be stung, to be honest. Yeah, I've made him like a little burrow down there, and I'm hoping he uses that so that, yeah, we can see what he's doing in there. And here he is in all his glory, the top predator of my ecosystem. I think I'm going to call him Stuart, to be fair. He looks like Stuart. But he's actually quite menacing, to be fair. He <laughs> like, looks quite feisty. As you can see, look, he's trying to attack my camera already. Like, getting away from there. I'm trying to do this without getting stung. It's kind of hard with one hand with a glove and then the other hand with a camera. Okay, shoot, my friend, be free. Oh, no, I dropped tissue on him. Sorry, lad. Oh, he's using the house I made him. What a guy. Look at him. Looks at home already. No, I'm no scorpion whisperer, but I think he likes the house I made him. He is letting everyone know he is the boss. Look at him. Flexing. Got a bit of a gym bod on. The crickets still don't care. They're on the carrot still, but... Oh, yeah, he's going on an adventure. Yeah, a lot of scorpions are actually nocturnal, so I will leave a time lapse on. Uh, I'll put that on in a second, see if we actually catch anything. Maybe he's hungry now when he goes out, who knows. Now, this is where things got especially f***ed. Now, as you can see from this clip, Stuart is literally just walking around. I'm literally watching it right now. He's walking around, he's all fine, just seeing what his new home has to offer. You know, as you would. So yeah, just walking about. But what I hadn't realised, so I come back later to get my GoPro out of the thing and noticed he wasn't in the tank. So as you can see, he's just walking around and he pays particular attention to this one spot at the top of the log, which I only put in for aesthetics. I didn't realise there was a little gap in between the panels from where the roof goes to the, the glass bit. I couldn't even get my finger through there, it's tiny. However, he noticed it and was more than happy to capitalise on my mistake. So I come in later, he's gone. Look, you can literally see here, he climbs up and then he's gone. And look, my camera just about catches the flash of him go down as he just skydives off of the chest of drawers that he's on. I come in later and it wasn't in there. I was like, oh my God. Like, what was I supposed to do? I had to go down with my mom downstairs and I was like, I, we've had an escape. <laughs> There's a scorpion loose in the house. Right, yeah, so we've got a bit of a situation right now. We've got an escaped convict and he is loose in the room. We found him, but <laughs> I've got this on again to try and get him back. He's gone down the back of here and he's just stuck down in the corner. I'm not sure if you can see him on the camera. We're going to have to drag the whole thing out, take the tank off and <laughs> try to get him back.
Oh my god. <laughs> Get me in a job at pest control because I've handled this pretty well. Here we are on day nine of the ecosystem, guys. Everything's really coming together. We've got Stuart's chilling over here. The cricket seem to have formed a little colony under this log. And then, I don't know if you guys can see, but the isopods are gathering sort of over here under this plant. There we go, the isopods are gathering under that plant over there. Everything is finding where it likes to live in the ecosystem. I have taken that log down just so we don't have any more escapes. I've also plugged up the hole that I didn't know was there. So uh, yeah, hopefully we're actually escape proof now. Apologies for the shoddy camera, but this took me by surprise. As you can see, Stuart's doing his job. He caught himself a cricket, keeping them populations down.